वेलकम एवरी वन सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू कैलकुलेट हाउ टू फाइंड स्क्वेयर रूट ऑफ इम परफेक्ट स्क्वेयर एंड दैट टू अ सप्रैक्शन सो बेसिकली योर इफ यू सी यू आर सप्रैक्टिंग रूट ऑफ वन जीरो वन माइनस रूट ऑफ नाइन्टी नाइन ओके सो बिफोर गोइंग अ हेड लेट्स फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज द लॉजिक ऑफ फाइंडिंग रूट ऑफ एन इम परफेक्ट स्क्वेयर सो लेट्स ट्राई एंड फाइंड आउट रूट ऑफ फाइव ओके सो वॉट इज रूट ऑफ फाइव वॉट हैपन्स इज See, whenever there is an imperfect square in this particular place, what you will do is instead of writing this as root, we'll do entire operation in the form of raised to half. Okay. Now, how this happens is we'll take a out, and then we'll have one plus one upon a. Okay. So basically, where this a a is nothing but what the nearest nearest. perfect square now don't forget you can have a plus or minus in pitch place okay so your instead of 5 i can write this as what 4 plus 1 and using the same logic i will write 4 is my perfect square right so what i will do i'll take 4 out and then i'll in the bracket i'll have 1 plus 1 upon 4 the whole raised to half right and then all you have to do is split this index to the product below means when you have a product raised to a particular index you can write this as nothing but what a raised to b into m raised to b so now what is what happens over here is we'll have 4 raised to half and this will have 1 plus 1 upon 4 the whole raised to half okay now what happens over here is 4 raised to half is what 2 and this this bracket can be written in certain form because this particular fraction is less than 1 if it is less than 1 i can directly write this as nothing but what 1 plus 1 upon 4 into 1 upon 2 okay because the rest of the values become very very close to 0 okay so that is why using the binomial expression i can directly write this fraction multiply this by 1 by 2 So now what will happen over here is let's take the two inside. So we'll have two into one is two plus two upon four into one by two. So this is cancelling. So here we are getting two plus one by four. That is coming out to be one by four is nothing but what zero point two five. So the final answer root for root of five is nothing but what two point two five. This is very very approximate, very close to your final answer. so i hope you understood how to find square root of imperfect squares so going back to our question let's understand how to do this in this entire kind of operation okay so let's first remember that my goal is that i want to write all of them in terms of what a then in the bracket 1 plus 1 upon a the whole raised to half everything is raised to half so you can have plus or minus okay so here i can write instead of 101 i'll write 100 then in the bracket we have 1 plus 1 upon 100 right because this is what basically it will come out to be okay let me just write this again one more time to avoid any confusion let's do this we have i can write this as what 100 plus 1 the whole raised to half and this can be written as 100 minus 1 the whole raised to half so let's write it in this particular expansion form so this will be written as we'll take 100 out so we'll have 100 then in the bracket we have 1 plus 1 upon 100 and then the everything is still raised to half here again we'll have 100 1 minus 1 upon 100 the whole raised to half okay so now let's split this index with 100 and this bracket for both the sides so what we'll have is 100 raised to half that is basically root of 100 that is nothing but 10 and then we know that this bracket this value is very small than 1 so i can write this as nothing but what expansion of 1 plus 1 upon 100 the whole raised to half that can be done as what 1 upon 100 into 1 upon 
okay similarly here i have 10 into 1 plus sorry not plus there is a minus over here minus 1 upon 100 into 1 upon 2 okay now let's take the 100 inside the bracket so what we'll get over here is 10 plus 10 into upon 100 into 2 minus 10 now this minus 10 multiplied by minus 1 upon 100 that gets you what plus 10 upon 100 into 1 upon 2 okay so now if you see things are cancelling this is cancelling this and this is also cancelling this 0 and this 0 is also cancelling so basically I'm left with what 1 upon 20 plus 1 upon 20 so that gets you what 2 upon 20 so answer comes out to be 1 upon 10 that is nothing but what 0 0.1 this is the closest answer for this particular question so please understand that whenever you have an imperfect square in picture all you have to remember is this particular format okay now students for those who want to do more of this practice i have done a separate video on imperfect squares the link of that will be available on top or at the end of this video also a lot of people keep asking that how do i upload or when do i upload uh, these kind of videos you know so i basically upload two times every day okay and i also upload one quiz in the form of short every day okay so if you like the way i am really doing these kind of works please go ahead and hit the like button because that gives me tremendous amount of encouragement in doing these kind of videos also a lot of people ask that how many questions from where do i find these questions so trust me lot of your lot of y'all reach out to me on instagram on uh, facebook and on telegram okay everywhere the channel name is the same fast and easy maths lot of people have reached out to me on these various platforms and they have given me their doubts and trust me i actually make videos on your doubts itself okay so if you have any doubts you can reach out to me on any of these platforms or you can also comment your question below any video of mine i will definitely definitely try to make a video for your solution as soon as possible also if you have apart from this if you have any doubt in any area of mathematics please feel free to just put it in the comments or reach out to me on any of this platform okay so i hope this is very very clear to everyone that's it for today i will see you in the next video